Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, this is Gamester81. I uh, hope you all, all are doing well. Um, this review is over uh, a game called Doki Doki Panic. It was only available on the Famicom disk drive in Japan. Um, and there was a lot of confusions I think for a while because uh, I know on the, the Wii Virtual Console um, they had a, a game called uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 and a lot, of, a lot of people were like, I thought Super Mario Bros. 2 was uh, you know, what we know as in the States. but here, here's what happened is that um, they, uh, they basically took Doki Doki Panic and, and cloned it and, and converted it to, to Mario Brothers 2 for the States and the Mario Brothers 2's that, that we know on the Virtual Console never was released until uh, Mario, Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo and I think Japan's reasoning for not releasing um, Super Mario Brothers 2 in the US is because quote it was, it was actually too hard um, they thought Americans would get too frustrated and we couldn't handle it, which I think is kind of a bullshit reason. But I want to kind of show you um, this game, Doki Doki Panic. Uh, I'm actually, just so you guys know, I'm using the, the disc, Famicom disk drive. And then I'm, I'm hooked it up to my Messiah, uh, which is a clone. Uh, and uh, I, I'm using this because it's got the R, RV cables as well. And it works really well for it. So let's check it out. I think you'll see a lot of similarities between the two games. There's some minor Graphical uh, changes that they, they enhanced for the Super Mario Bros. 2 in the States. Um, one kind of thing about the disk drive is you, you've got to actually flip it over. I don't really believe in emulators when it comes to things like this. I think the real deal is the best deal. Here's kind of interesting. Um, you got Mario. Uh, Luigi Toad. Um, this one you can actually save and you can't switch between characters like you can on the other one. So let's check it out. And you can kind of switch between levels. Like the Super Mario Bros. 2, you can actually switch characters between levels. This one you can't. You gotta beat the whole game with one character. But you can save it, which is kind of neat. Obviously the music. This is the princess character because you can you can float. The music is identical. So I'm kind of pissed at Nintendo. I mean, they think that. Uh, us Americans that we can't handle tough games. It's uh, so that's different. Like uh, I think I like princess characters best. Um, I'm not a fan of Toad. This system actually floats as long as she usually does. Than used to. And that's interesting, the fuse doesn't, you don't see the fuse going like you do in the My Brothers 2. Oh man, yeah the controls are horrible in this. She floats differently. Mm -hmm. 
Here's another thing that's interesting too, you'll notice. See that mask is different. It's I think it's like a bird in, in Mario Brothers 2, huh? And his stomach isn't rotating, I think, like the I think it can usually rotate, so little graphical changes here and there. This is different. Check out another character real quick. Check out the Luigi guy. Yeah, it's gonna make me flip over. So I think it's kind of frustrating you gotta flip sides and then sort of do all this shit again. Character. This is supposed to be Toad, Mario, Luigi, Princess. Let's start Luigi. Let's see if they jump high. Apparently, huh? The other guy was supposed to be Luigi. My bad. Yeah, this is more like Princess. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, that person. That makes better sense. I'm sorry guys, I was a little confused. So anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool game. And it's too bad that they never released Mario Bros. 2 originally for the, um, in the States, because that, that would have been better. So, all right guys, take care.